This week we're playing Battlefront 2! In real life! This week on the Star Wars Show, Andy and Anthony hang out with the actual Inferno Squad. We play a game of Star Wars Battlefront 2 in real life and much, much more. Now, from the Lucasfilm headquarters, it's the Star Wars Show. Hi, I'm Anthony Carboni. And I'm Andy Gutierrez, and this is the Star Wars Show, a show that, thanks to recent news, may have a bit of job security in the future. The Star Wars will never end! And for more on that, let's go to the news. In what was probably the biggest casual Lucasfilm news item of the last few years, Disney CEO Bob Iger briefly mentioned during an earnings call that the company is not only developing a new live-action Star Wars TV show, but also a completely new trilogy that Ryan Johnson will be creating. Aside from creating the new trilogy that will stand apart from the episodic Skywalker saga, Johnson will write and direct the first installment with his longtime collaborator, Rom Bergman, producing. No release date has been set for either the new series or new films, but you can watch Johnson's latest movie, a little indie film called Star Wars The Last Jedi, in theaters in one month. Literally, one month from today, on December 15th. That is, like, so close. So close. So close. Thrawn, the most recent novel by Timothy Zahn, is being adapted into a six-issue series for Marvel Comics. So hype. <laughs> Written by Jody Hauser and illustrated by Luke Ross, the Thrawn comic will include never-before-revealed scenes. The first issue of Thrawn will hit store shelves on February 7th, 2018. I really like that Thrawn kind of looks like a blue Fabio on the cover. Right? He's a strategist, but also... He smolders. And he's just like ripped. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Thrawn, total package. <laughs> Finally, with the launch of Star Wars Battlefront 2 this week, we here at the Star Wars show thought, why would we play the game from the safety and comfort of our own homes? That's why we decided it would be interesting to actually become the Inferno Squad and play Battlefront 2 in real life in the following segment paid for by EA. Enjoy! That's... That's the one. Just watching the Star Wars show. Andy, I'm so excited. We are so close to the release of Star Wars Battlefront 2. I know, we've been talking about it for so long and now it's finally here. That's right, November 17th, we finally get to become the Inferno Squad. But what if I told you we could really become the Inferno Squad? I would say, what are you talking about, Andy Gutierrez? Well, I made a phone call. I have a friend here that can help us become the Inferno Squad. Oh! Hello, Mr. Carboni. Hello, Janina Gavankar. Commander Aiden Versio is here. Yes, not just me. I made a phone call. Hi, DJ. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Good. Del Miko. Correct. Are you ready to be a member of our squad? Absolutely. Okay. Well, we've got something for you. We do. That's why I've Grab positioned myself by this black curtain. Yes. All right. All right, Commander, you want to count us in? Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. Oh! Pretty badass. So our friends at the 501st made us these fully custom Inferno Squad kits. What's really exciting about Inferno Squad is they're not just new characters. They are a new way to experience Battlefront. This is previously a multiplayer only franchise. Yeah, and okay, so that multiplayer is still in this game, but you are in the sky, you're on the ground, you are experiencing so many beautiful places, and also you have our story. This is an authentic Star Wars story. Yeah. We have been able to work so closely with Lucasfilm and the story group to make sure that we are giving giving you something that fits seamlessly into the galaxy. Yeah. Obviously, we're all coming into this new. Tell us a little bit about what makes Inferno Squad special. Mm. We are a special ops team. We're great in the air and we're great on the ground. We're so good on the ground that we don't even need plastoid suits. We move in so fast and out so fast, we never even get hit. We're good at different things. I mean, yes, we can do it all, but we have specialized areas at different things, so there'll be different challenges, I think, for gamers along the way. It's been interesting to watch because you got a lot of actual combat and movement training. So oh, absolutely. We had military consultants that were watching and training us all the way through. We're very excited for you to pass on some of that knowledge to us right now. Great, let's, let's do it. it. Let's suit up. All right. So we are now in our flight suits that are the basis of the Inferno Squad. Yes. Indeed. So our friends from the 501st are here to help us get suited up. A lot of people came together for this. The Jolly Rogers group in the 501st Legion put something brand new together. This is what we came up with. Feels good, right? Yeah. Nice and trim. If you're somebody who's going to make your armor and walk around a convention all day, Inferno Squad is definitely the way oh, to go. Yeah. This is very comfortable. The next piece that would go on would be called a balaclava, which is an open-faced head scarf. It's good luck. Yeah. So the piece stay resistance. Oh, it's on. 
game. I'm so psyched for this. You should be. Oh, this is great. Bring it on, people. Bring it on, Rebels. Let's have it. Are we intimidating? Extremely. What's also going to be great about the Inferno costume is there's going to be so many variations. When this piece is specific for Aiden. Yes. Now you look like such a leader. There can only be one. We do have one more surprise. No. <laughs> you made it. Janina, you're having a moment. This and I don't want to interrupt the moment, but we need you to get into commander mode. All right. All right. You ready? Let's do it. A huge thank you to the 501st for creating these amazing uniforms for us. Now let's go out into the real world and test the... Okay. What is what, dude, going on? All day. I'm so sorry, what? sorry, sorry. Who is on the boom? My bad, my bad. Sam Witwer, the voice of Darth Maul and Emperor Palpatine in Star Wars Battlefront 2. What are you doing here? Morkum, what are you doing here? We're gonna take these uniforms out and test them in combat. Did you want to come? No, I'm... I'm really busy, guys. I just, um. You sure? It's gonna be a lot of fun. If you wanna come, Sam, just say you wanna come, man. Well, if you think that'll be fast. All right. Wow. This way. Are you guys good? I, I can't see a thing in this. We can take them off if you really need us to. Please. Yeah, I think that'd be good. We've come out to Hollywood Sports Park in Bellflower, California to recreate one of the modes of Battlefront 2 in real life. So this will be strike mode. We've got two teams. Each team has a single objective. Our objective is to eliminate the Rebels and or place this detonator on their moisture evaporator and the Rebels are to protect their base at all costs. Our opponents today hiding in their base are actual members of the Rebel Legion. Show yourself, Rebels. Rebels, are you ready? Yeah. Battle squad, are you ready? Yeah. Alright, this game is mine! Go, go, go! Go, 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 go. You and me. Go, go, go. Arnold, what do you see? Let's do this all right? Alright, Sam, you cut last. I'm gonna cover you, okay? Yeah. Alright. Careful, guys, you've got incoming. How you doing, buddy? Ah. I'm good. Come to me if you can. I'm just gonna lay down a little cover. Coming on your right. Coming on your right, Andy. Come on. Yeah, go! You with me? Yeah. All right. See one guy right there. Sam, I want you to know, 40 seconds, I'm going to respawn as Kylo Ren. I'm going to mess everyone up. It's going to be dope. Why not Maul, though? Because he's kind of hardcore. Here we go. They're not hitting us. Just be patient. Stay down, Rebels. Going in. Imperial on the right. Yeah. He's down. He's clear. Go, 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 go. Gee, you're clear. Roger, Roger. All right, Inferno Squad, successful strike. Absolutely. <laughs> TJ, Janina, as the actual Inferno Squad, how did the three of us do? Seven, seven out of ten. ten. I'll take seven. Okay. Thank you two so much for coming out. Sam Whitwer, thank you for joining us as well. You're all very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and a huge thanks to Hollywood Sports Park for hosting us at the 501st and the Rebel Legion yes, for helping us you. out and making this a reality. And remember, you can grab Battlefront 2 on November 17th. Look at him, he's heading for that small moon. That's no moon. With Thanksgiving on the horizon here in the States, as well as the news of tons of new Star Wars content coming to you, we want to know what you're thankful for in the Star Wars universe. As for me, I am thankful for you guys. Uh, all of you are the best community on the planet, hands down. That's definitely one of them. The Star Wars fans are passionate and opinionated, but overall, it's one of the most caring and welcoming fan communities on the planet. And I'm super thankful that we both get to be a part of it every single week. Aw, same. Yeah. So let us know what you're thankful for using the hashtag Thanks Star Wars, and we'll feature our favorites here next week. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you. See, not so salty today, huh? No. No, quite sweet. You're all sugar now. It's all foggy in here. I got respiratory problems. It's good for aiming. Who's there? <laughs>